Okay, well, first of all, thank you very much indeed for organizing it and thank you all for, co for coming in on this. It really is a very important issue. Uh, this is the 80th anniversary of the kinder transport. Um, we, we took as a country, we took 10,000 children, unaccompanied children from Germany, Austria and Czechoslovakia in 1938 and 1939. I was one of them. And clearly all of us who came on a kinder transport, our lives were saved by that, by that journey to safety. And what we're saying now is that really as a country, we can, uh, we can do the same today. Uh, I was in Greece about two and a half, three weeks ago in Athens. And then I went to Lesbos, one of the islands where I looked at three refugee camps. And it was quite shocking. Uh, I, I, I find it so distressing. I'm still haunted by, by, by what I saw. Uh, young people, children, adults, a mixture, all stuck there with almost no prospect of getting away at all, unless some other country says, we'll take you and we'll, we'll welcome you. And some of the conditions were as bad, if not worse, than any I saw when the jungle was, was, was there in Calais. So the need is absolutely there. And there are young people who have no lives at all just in, in this, what is virtually a prison camp. So what, what we would like is all of you, your good campaigners, is to do something to push local authorities so that they will take more. We have a very simple, very simple ask, really. We're saying that we took 10,000 kinder transport children in the industry over a year in 1938-39. We're saying, couldn't Britain take 10,000 children over 10 years? That's to say 1,000 a year, which if you work it out per local authority, would be three children per local council. That is a very, very modest request. And yet it would make such a difference to the children who are stuck there in these desperately awful conditions. These children shouldn't have to be in such conditions. It, it, is, it is a disgrace and it is a humiliation to all of us who are living more comfortably that there should be children in, 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 such, in such desperate circumstances. So what we're really saying to all of you is this. Local authorities are the key. Obviously, if you, want, if you meet your MP, that's fine. Get them on board as well. But in this particular case, local authorities are the key. And if you can approach your local council your local councillors and see if you can get a meeting with them to ask them what, you, what we want them to do. And that is a simple request that they should take three unaccompanied child refugees a year. It's very, very small. It's very, very simple. And, and frankly, I hope I've got the arithmetic right. That is three, three a year, okay? And, and if you approach your local councils, you can probably work out um, whether you've got a contact on the local council, a local councillor, but approach your local councils, work out who the key figures are on the committees and talk to them and say, look, this is what we want. It's desperately urgent. It is important. It's a major humanitarian issue and we should all rise to doing something about it. Otherwise, we're just turning our backs on these children and that's too awful to contemplate. So, um, are you up for this? Are you up for talking to your local councils and doing a bit of effective, intelligent, positive lobbying of your local councils to get them to do something? Are you up for doing it? Put your hands up, yes? Are you up for it? Fantastic, okay. 80th anniversary of when the Kinder Transport Scheme was opened in 1938, and then a lot of them came in 39. I, I came in the summer of 19, 1939. So it is the 80th anniversary. It's a significant event. And we believe because of the significance of that event and the generosity that this country showed, no other country did it. Even the Americans said these people would be extra to quota. So Britain was the only country that did it. And we did it. And it was, it was a great tribute to our humanitarian reputation that it happened. And what we're saying is, we did it then, we can do it now. That's the, that's the question.